I thank the gentleman. I now recognize the gentleman from New York, Mr. Bishop. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for holding this hearing, and to um, Secretary Michaels, thank you for being here. Uh, I want to sort of broaden the scope of this uh, uh, a bit. Um, we all recognize that we have a jobs crisis in this country, um, and we have conflicting visions on how to how to address that crisis. Um, uh, it's very clear to me that our friends on the other side of the aisle have determined that one of the root causes of that crisis and one of the reasons that we our recovery has been as anemic as it has been is uh, that we are over-regulated. Um, I think one of the best ways to solve a problem is to make sure you understand it, and the best way to make sure you understand it is to have actual data. Um, I um, read a piece yesterday that was, uh, that was uh, written by a man named Bruce Bartlett, uh, former senior economic advisor to President Reagan, former senior economic advisor to President George H.W. Bush, served on the staff of Jack Kemp, served on the staff of Ron Paul, obviously an unabashed liberal. Uh, he, um, um, he cited statistics uh, from the Bureau of Labor Statistics in which employers were queried as to why they laid people off. In 2008, out of 1.5 million layoffs, 5,500 of them were attributed to government regulation. Uh, this is in the last year of the Bush administration. That number represents four-tenths of one percent of all layoffs. By the way, lack of demand, 516,000 layoffs. In 2009, out of 2,100 layoffs, 4,800 of them were attributed to government regulation. This is by the employers themselves. Two-tenths of one percent of all layoffs related to excessive regulation. Lack of demand, 824,000 layoffs. 2010, two-tenths of one percent attributed to lack of regulation. 2011, first half of the year, two-tenths of one percent. So do we have an over-regulatory problem? I think it's debatable at best, and I think uh, uh, what we really need to do is focus on the core issue of our economy, which is clearly lack of demand. Let me go on. Small business majority surveyed 1,257 small business owners to name the two biggest problems they face. Only 13 percent listed government regulation as one of them. Almost half said their biggest problem was lack of customers and sales. Wall Street Journal survey of business economists found, quote, the main reason U.S. companies are reluctant to step up hiring is scant demand rather than uncertainty over government policies, according to a majority of economists, close quote. It's the Wall Street Journal. In August, McClatchy newspapers canvassed small businesses asking them if regulation was a big problem. It could find no evidence that this was the case. None of the business owners, this is a quote, complained about regulation in their particular industries and most seemed to welcome it. That's a quote. So we have a jobs problem. No reasonable person would argue with that. But we, the, our friends on the other side of the aisle say that we should confront that problem with three remedies. One, reduce government spending. The second, cut corporate and personal income taxes. And the third, reduce regulation. This hearing is part of the majority's thesis uh, that regulation is the problem. Majority Leader Cantor has issued a memorandum in which he has, he has outlined the 10 most egregious job-killing regulations and has outlined a legislative, uh, legislative agenda that will deal with those job-killing regulations. And I think we have to ask ourselves the very real question is this a solution in search of a problem? Are, is there, are there cases in this economy where we are overregulated? Absolutely. But are, we could solve every regulatory problem we have today. And unless we increase demand tomorrow, we're going to have a serious jobs problem. So I would ask, I know that we are the Committee on Workforce Protection. And I know that we should be focusing on workforce protections, and OSHA is an element of our ability to do that. But I would hope that in the big picture, the 30,000-foot view, 
we will be much more focused on increasing demand than we are on these issues that are important but peripheral to the central, central case. With that, I yield back the balance of my time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. I ask unanimous consent to enter into the reg record the, um, the article by Mr. Bartlett that I cited. Without objection, it will Thank be you. entered. Thank you very much. Hearing none.